Hello, and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once-a-day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 960. We are in the middle of the Final 50 Trivia Challenge today. Part 41 was sent in by Muriel T. It's a 21-question trivia quiz. The first 20 questions are up front. Question 21, the tiebreaker, is at the very end of the video if you need to stick around for that. Good luck. Question number one, the only Austronesian language spoken on the continent of Africa. What language was brought to the island nation of Madagascar around 5th century AD and is now the current national language with around 25 million speakers? The answer is Malagasy. Question number two, HD 189733B is a blue gas giant located in the Volpecula constellation. It was discovered in 2005 by French astronomers and is said to have high velocity winds that rain molten glass. What general term is given to a planet that is located outside of our own solar system? You hear this term in space movies a lot. It is called an exoplanet. Question number three. What television show hosted by New Zealander Phil Keegan sets 12 teams of two across the world as they navigate foreign countries, search for clues, and perform physical and mental challenges in an effort to win $1 million? There's lots of variations of this show. It is The Amazing Race. Question number four. TikTok has many different kinds of videos on its platform, and this is one of the most popular. What is the name for the type of fictional video that is done by setting up a situation and playing it out as if you were the one in the situation? When it's filmed as if you're the one going through it, it is called POV or point of view. Question number five. Ducks can be seen anywhere around the world. These ducks, however, are found mostly in the northern hemisphere. What type of duck, characterized by the male's green head, are found in many urban duck ponds? Those specific ducks are called mallards. Question number six. Children's books written by Arnold Lobel have been a fan favorite among those who love their amphibious friends. What series of books, later performed on Broadway, follows a dynamic duo's adventures in everyday life? The answer is Frog and Toad. Question number seven. Cajun cuisine has many favorites, including gumbo. Gumbo is made with a stock, meat or shellfish, a thickener, and the Cajun holy trinity of vegetables. The holy trinity consists of bell peppers, onions, and what other vegetable? I did not know this about Cajun food. The third one is celery. Question number eight. This Nintendo video game character is famous for swallowing up enemies as a defense mechanism, allowing them to acquire new powers from that enemy. Who is this silly pink character?
I feel like swallowing up your enemies could have been a lot of characters, but when they asked who the pink character was, that would be Kirby. Question number nine. Tarzan was always hanging around his two best friends in the 1999 Disney animation. The first was named Turk. The second friend was named Elephant in the fictional Mangani language from the Edgar Rice Burroughs story. What was their name? So in the fictional language, the word for elephant is what? The answer is Tantor. Question number 10. This blind mammal lives primarily underground in the northeastern part of North America. What is this animal whose odd shaped snout has the ability to smell underwater by exhaling and inhaling water bubbles? That odd shaped snout is a star nosed mole. Question number 11. Widely regarded as the signature song of System of a Down, what song shares a name with a Chinese American dish consisting of meat and eggs cooked quickly with vegetables in a starchy sauce? The name of that song and the food is Chop Suey. Question number 12. There are only three countries in the world that are located completely within one other country. The first two are the Vatican City and San Marino, both of which are in Italy. What is the name of the last enclave country which is located in South Africa? That country is called Lesotho. Question number 13. There was a chart made by linguists in the 19th century as a standard way to represent speech sounds in written form. This chart, based on the Latin script, goes by what name? Don't overthink it. That chart is called the International Phonetic Alphabet. Question number 14. Good news. In the animated show Futurama, Professor Hubert J. Farnsworth needed a successor and cloned himself in order to get a new one. What was the name of his clone who took on the role of the professor's son? The clone of Hubert Farnsworth was Cubert Farnsworth. Question number 15. A small island east of Java and the only Hindu majority province in the country, which island of Indonesia is its main tourist attraction receiving millions of tourists each year? The answer is Bali. Question number 16. The flag of Lebanon has two horizontal red stripes and a horizontal white stripe with a green tree in the middle. What type of tree is featured on this flag? The answer is a cedar tree. Question number 17. Black holes are regions in space with gravitational fields that are so strong nothing can escape them. 
What is the theoretical opposite of a black hole, wherein nothing can enter this region, though they can escape from it? Basically, it pushes everything out rather than pulls everything in. The theoretical opposite of a black hole is a white hole. Question number 18. The Australian cattle dog, or healer, is a herding dog originally bred in Australia for cattle. The cattle dog was bred from a mixed breed of herding dog and what Australian wild dog? The answer is a dingo. Question number 19. In house design, remodeling a space generally refers to creating something new from the original space. What design term refers to restoring a space back to its original state? When you remodel a space, you're turning it into something new and when you're turning something back into its original state, you're renovating it. So, renovation. And question 20. There are four main lobes of the brain. The frontal lobe for executive functioning, the occipital lobe for vision, the temporal lobe for language and memory, and which other lobe which is responsible for touch and taste? The answer is the parietal lobe. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trippia. This is part 41 of the final 50 challenge. Thank you to Muriel T for submitting the questions for today's trivia quiz. I thought we had a good mix of questions with a good mix of difficulty. This is what we're looking for when I'm talking about doing random trivia quizzes. Questions were all over the place. 20 good questions. We've got a good question 21 coming up. Thank you very much. Nailed it. If you want more random trivia, you can click over and check out the Final 50 playlist that we're now getting a good amount of quizzes into there. We also have a random trivia playlist if you want to jump over to that. And we've got more trivia coming up. We've got 40 more episodes of this Final 50 challenge. So stick around for that. Most of the people who view these episodes, especially to this length, are returning visitors. Most of you are subscribed, but if you're not subscribed and you're just feeling the channel out and you want to see if this is something you're into, hopefully, I think this was a good quiz to give you a good idea of some of the random trivia quizzes we have. We also have a ton of very specific category quizzes. You can go to our channel page, our video page, look around on there and see what all kind of trivia quizzes we have. But the next 40 episodes will all be random trivia quizzes submitted by viewers for a chance to win $500 during our live episode in September. So that's what we've got going on. I have had several people ask and make sure that the final 50 challenge isn't the final, final 50. Um, this is the last 50 of the first 1,000 episodes. Um, originally, I wasn't sure how long we were going to keep this channel going. Um, I really like trivia, but I'm not sure how much everybody else likes trivia. And when I'm sitting behind a computer all day, it's hard to really gauge the interest of you know the rest of the world in this channel. But I will tell you that I've had several people email me, several people comment on the videos, um, I get all sorts of messages on all the posts from all the social media and they want to keep it going. That's the kind of news, that's the kind of feedback that I love. I love hearing it. Thank you very much. We will be going on past 1,000 episodes. I'm not sure what the uh, 
plan is for the time between episode 1000 and the start of the new year. It'll be a little bit more sporadic with the posting. I've got some quizzes that I need to go back and kind of edit and re-upload. Um, a lot of, not a lot of viewers, I hope it's not a lot, but viewers have noticed some spelling errors, some grammatical errors, some content errors in some of the quizzes through the last thousand episodes. So I want to update those, get those back on track, and then I know January 1st we'll be starting once a day, everyday trivia again, and just going until you guys are bored of me. So now's as good a time as any to subscribe if you like this type of trivia. Here is question 21 from Muriel T on the Final 50 Trivia Challenge. Anubis is a deity within the Egyptian mythology that accompanied the dead into the afterworld and took part in the embalming process. What animal is represented by Anubis's appearance? Anubis, at least the top half, is represented by a jackal. The answer is jackal. That's it for today. Thank you. See you tomorrow.